What's going on, Comic Book Nation? Liam Crowley here at New York Comic Con, where all of our coverage is being presented by Whatnot, and I am joined today by some fellows from Middle Earth, the stars of the Rings of Power. Guys, thank you so much for coming to New York Comic Con. How has the experience been so far? Well, it's early days. We've, we've uh, done one set of interviews so far. So uh, I flew in last night, and these guys have been here for a day, I think. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. So, yeah, yeah I it's going to be a busy cons. day. We're yeah, very excited be... to be here. This is yeah, great. It looks amazing. This is, this is a lot of people, and I'm yeah. glad we can take the time to chat. Yeah, Charles, I want to start with you. Yeah. Your character, obviously synonymous with the Rings of Power in the yeah. books. The show is called Rings of Power. We know you forged the Rings of Power in the books. Where are the Rings of Power? They're being considered and planned, and uh, <laughs> they, are, they are imminent. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, Sarah, you've said that your acting career, your, your longevity in this field, uh, has kind of made this experience feel a bit more grounded um, compared to the serenity of everything going on in the Rings of Power. Has there been any moments, whether that be on filming or promoting it like this, where you've really gathered the scope of this world? So many moments, I can't tell you. But I, I still think one of the most surreal and incredible moments was uh, my first Comic-Con in San Diego and stepping on the stage and watching all those incredible fans, which is why I'm so excited to be here today. Um, I'm a big, big fantasy fan, so this is definitely my, my world. And Leon, your character uh, in this series, uh, is Isildur saves your character at one point. Um, and he also neglects to mention you had a little act of treason that you were possibly going to commit. And he, he hides that from the rest of the people. Do you feel like your character is in any sort of debt to him? Or are you trying to just operate as normal? Great question. <laughs> I thought of, because if the shoe were on the other foot, I think Kim would be like, you know what this guy just did? It's uh, fascinating to me that he chooses to protect Kevin in that moment. Mm. I think, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how that plays out with those two next season. One final question for you all. Obviously, the name Sauron keeps getting whispered around this series, and we know he's probably coming eventually, but when it comes to big bads or big character reveals, we've seen in The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker was hidden from cast members. We've seen in Marvel shows, Kang was hidden from characters. Do you guys know what's going on with Sauron, or are you going to find out like the rest of us? All will be revealed. <laughs> All will be revealed. Fair enough. And one quick final, final question. I apologize. Next week's the big finale. Do we have any little one-word teasers for what fans can expect? Culmination. Culmination. Sarah? Epic. Epic. Leon? Yeah. Epic. <laughs> a couple of epics. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat. Be sure to stay tuned to comicbook.com for all coverage of New York Comic Con throughout this weekend.